Hey, this is Rex, and you're watching the Brick Ninjas. All right, so I scored the First Order Assault Walker at Toys R Us at midnight last night. <clears throat> A lot of people seem to be really going for the Black Series figures and the Force figures and the three-quarter inch figures. Um, that was pretty cool, but my main focus was definitely getting a Lego Assault Walker. I'd always wanted the original AT-ST Walkers, <clears throat> and you can still pick them up new in the box, but they're just really pricey right now, so I figured I'd get this. This was $150 at Toys R Us. It is set number 75189. It comes with 1,376 pieces. Um, I'm really looking forward to building this. Looks like it's got some really cool stuff on the back here. It has a stud shooter. It has, um, I think it has some missile launchers too, doesn't it? We shall see. Yes, it does, two of them. At the front, stud shooter. The legs are articulating. It looks like they have these cool little canisters that it drops from the back. Um, and I think there's some other opening parts. It comes with figures Resistance Trooper, Captain Poe Dameron, First Order Walker Driver, First Order Stormtrooper, and Ray with a lightsaber. All right. Let's get started. In the box. So, you know what? I like to open up this side. There we go. Okay. Nothing else in there. Okay. Pretty big instruction book. This is going to take some time to build. We got one. So we got eight bags. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine bags for this. This is going to be fun. You guys ready? Let's get started.
right guys, so I've finished building the first order of salt walker and I have to say it's pretty cool. Be careful with the instructions, some of it's a little bit tricky so just take your time, make sure you double check everything. Most of it goes together very uh, pretty easily, but there's just some things that get a little confusing because you're going back and forth. Um, with the front legs, actually the back legs, I just went ahead and built them both at the same time. It'll say times two, but you'll have to, you know, I've made the mistake of going through and building one thing and be like, where's the other leg? And then I gotta go back through the instructions. Oh, I had to build two of them. So just be mindful of that. Um, other than that, it's a pretty cool set. Um, I like, there's things I like about it and there's things I don't like about it. Let's go ahead and start with the minifigures first. All right, the first guy is a resistance trooper. Um, looks cool to me, looks fine. His hands are the same colors as uniform. He's got printing on his legs and his front and his back here. He's wearing a little helmet and he's got kind of a cool gray uh, weapon. His helmet moves up and down. I don't know what that's for. He just has like a little bearded face as you can see. That's all. Okay. And his helmet. Kind of neat looking. I'm impressed with how much detail I can put on these little things now. It's a little sun visor, it's yellow. Okay. Next we got Poe, Captain Poe Dameron. I guess he has been uh, promoted since the last movie. Let me expose this better. Um, he's got some good printing on his shirt. More light there. That's cool, he's wearing like a jacket. He's kind of a little reminiscent of uh, Han Solo. I don't know if that's what they're going to try and do with this character a little bit. A little printing on the back. And he has, I think he has two faces. Of course, he's got a five o'clock shadow. Grrr. And then he's, you know, his little comedic face, I guess. Maybe he makes some jokes in the movie. And he's just got a little black weapon. It's kind of cool. All right, we've got Ray in her last Jedi garb, which is gray. I said this before, I wonder, is she gonna be the gray Jedi where she uses both the light and the dark side? Be kinda cool. She got her, uh, you know, Luke's lightsaber or Anakin's lightsaber, whichever one you wanna call it. And uh, pretty cool printing on the front and back. Uh, of course, her arms are exposed. And there's her back printing. I'm surprised they, you know, I'm surprised they didn't put any like uh, white bandages on her arms. Maybe that's something Lego should consider doing. Start decorating their arms too. Uh, most times they do. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't do with her, but who knows. Anyway, she's got two faces. Uh, she's got that kind of Gwygon hair, which is cool with her little buns. Take off her hair so you can see her face. She's got her uh, smirk there, her funny smirk. And then her serious, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bad Jedi, I'm gonna beat you up kind of face. She, she's tough. Tough uh, chick. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, next. Here's a new character we've never seen before. These are called Stormtroopers. Of course, I'm kidding. Uh, yep, Stormtrooper, got plenty of these. They look pretty cool. I like how they've, um, just with the movie itself, how they've evolved these characters and how they look. Um, you know, they look like it, the, what, what the Empire probably would have done had it moved forward. And the First Order just seems to be borrowing everything from the Empire anyways. Maybe we'll learn more about that in the next movie. But, you know, printing on the body and legs and the back. Pretty standard. Uh, black weapon, and he has just basically a grr face. That's it, there's no, no face in the back. Just grr. I'm a bad guy. All right, moving on. Um, all right, so... This is a First Order Walker driver. And he's kind of getting blown out here. Let's see if we can darken him up. There we go. He's cool. He's got this like gray or silver stripe on his um, helmet. And he's got those like snow trooper um, things on his helmet though too. So he's kind of a hybrid of a couple different things here. And he's got gray legs and gray part of his suit and gray arms and hands. Same thing on the back. And he looks pretty cool. He does have a weapon, I just have it stored in the walker, I'll show you that in a minute. There's a couple places you can store weapons and stuff. And he just has a grr face. Grr, bad guy. I'm gonna crush you with my walker. 
crush everything. All right. So moving on. All right. So here's the walker, kind of in better detail. Um, the front legs have these cool things on them. I want to talk about the things I like first. I like the way the legs look. Um, I like how they have these like bigger front feet. These um, just looks different, more unique than the original. The head is really cool because it swivels. It has like two pivot points. And to seat the guy in there, you just open it up. And um, as you can see, that's the inside of the the head part. And he easily goes in there and. I think it's pretty cool that it just folds up and down. Even the front looks cool because it has like, it almost looks like eyes and two little uh, guns there. They have these cool things down here that almost look like teeth. They give it more of a menacing look on both sides. And you can see that there's um, little missiles down there you can fire. Um, that's all cool. The feet are cool. Everything is articulating. It moves. Um, kind of, you know, click, click, click kind of moves. Um, everything up here opens up. This is cool. They have storage in here. The only thing I don't like about these doors is that they can they can pop off kind of easily. They go back on easy too, but I just they kind of just come off sometimes. You put a, a bad guy in here. I'll show some shots of that later. Here's a place where you can put a weapon when it's not in use. Um, you can see you can see all the way through. I can open the other side here. And you can see all the way through there. I'll show you the other side in a minute. Um, these are kind of cool. When I, I don't know what they're supposed to be. But when I look at them, I just think of like like depth chargers from uh, a submarine. And um, they pop off. And there's four of them. I'm not sure what they are. Depth chargers. <laughs> depth chargers on a um, machine like this wouldn't make sense. Because I don't think they move very fast. So if they dropped one, I imagine that it would blow up in close proximity to them. This is how you control the gun back here. It's pretty cool. You can go up and down. That's about it. Whoops, and you see I just fired a, a stud. I'll go pick that up in a minute. And this all moves. It's cool on both sides. Um and like I show, this thing goes in and out. Um, the one thing I don't like about it is when I go to position it, its, it's pieces come off easy. It looks cool. It's, it's fun to play with, except for when you position it, like literally, like I'll move a leg. And this was coming off a bunch earlier. It was driving me crazy. And then getting it back on is not always the easiest thing to do. Um, but, I mean, for, for something like this that articulates as much as it does, I guess that's just kind of a caveat. It's just going to be, you know, what's, what's going to happen. But, um, I mean, the legs are super posable. As you can see, you can bend them back, forward. And the feet, if I get one of his legs up, you can see the feet like rotate back and forth really, really easily. Even the front feet um, do the same thing. For some reason, it's I guess a lot of the center of gravity is on the front of this thing. So if I take that foot off the, the, from holding it up, it just wants to kind of fall forward, which it's about to do. So I'm going to stop here and reposition again. All right, I'm back. Um, all in all, it's cool. I like the detail on the feet and the legs and the whole structure. Um, this is a really cool looking um, Lego set and just a Star Wars toy itself. Now this side is the only side that has this thing. If I turn it, which you'll see here in a second. Um, it doesn't have that on this side. But it's, it's pretty much, you know, with Legos, it's usually one, if one side's this way, the other, the other side's going to be the same mirror image. Um, this side has a box with studs in it. You can see right there. There's about three of them in there. 
and you know of course this opens up like the other side this opens up and I will show you a guy in there in a second now um, this is like a, there's a lot of connect pieces in here to keep this thing together um, this doesn't move but the legs do and like I said let's look at the head for a second before I put somebody in there I just think this is like the head can you can see it's got a it's got a pivot point here, but there's like two points of articulation. So you can get these kind of cool side motions. All right, let's go ahead and put a guy in there. I'll show you what that looks like. All right, we're going to put our um, assault, first order assault walker driver in here. You can just open this and put that down. Bend his little legs. And there's no studs for him to sit on. That's something new I've noticed Lego's doing for the past couple years. I don't know how I feel about it. I guess it's easier to get your guys in and out. But um, there he is. He's in there now, ready to, to be a dog of war. Kind of like what this thing looks like as a dog. Um, pretty cool. He comes out pretty easily, too. Like I said, you can fold that down. And you can put anybody in here. Now let's put a guy in the uh, one of the gun bays in the back. All right. Here's the guy on the gun bay. Now you can close the top if his gun is out, but you can't close the bottom if his gun's pointing out. That's as far as it'll go. So you have to push his gun down, but you can close this up and he can chill in there. And there's the same thing on the other side, so he can be on either side. That's pretty cool. This um, gear, these gear teeth are not functional. They don't do anything. They're just um, aesthetics. But um, And you can see the what he's standing on Get in there. Put this other side. It's just a plate with a couple of uh, Lego studs on it. And he can get on the other side and do the same thing. Over here you have a, you can put a gun there. And on the other side, here's the other side, you have a wrench. So I guess sometimes these guys got to fix these things. Um, that's pretty cool. Close that. Let me show you a back view. See there. Here's the the back. Pretty cool looking. Something I wanted to point out that I thought was really neat is these um these ball joints that they have here. They just look really cool. Um, they're in all the feet. I'll show you the ones in the front ones, but pretty neat. I guess while I'm here, let me show you the feet. I think the feet look really cool. These are the back feet knee joints and the hip joints. You can see there's all kinds of detail given to this thing. It's pretty cool. Here's the front. There's the legs and the head. The very top. You can see, like I said, the head really moves in cool ways. Get a lot of bend out of it. It's a lot of viewing. Um, it's got little guns on the side there. And then some guns at the front. Kind of cool. And there's teeth looking things. I was pointing these out earlier. Those look pretty neat. And these are the front legs. These are what really captured my attention when I actually first saw what's going to be in the movie. It's just how different these front legs look. I wonder if these legs serve some kind of purpose with a serrated edge and the kind of different footers they have. Um, they really captured my attention when I first saw the images they released from the movie. Um, pretty cool looking. I always wanted an AT-AT. Uh, I'm very happy with this though. Uh, the AT-ATs right now are, you can get an old one that's still new in a box, but they're pretty expensive. So there's my close-ups. Here's these little cool looking little ball joints they have on all the legs, it's the very bottoms. All right, I really like it. Like I said, there's a couple drawbacks with uh, pieces can come off kind of easily, um, and it only and it has to kind of stand on four legs all the time. But all in all, I think those trade-offs are totally worth this set. I think it's worth the $100, $150 I paid for it. Um, it's fun, it looks really cool. I've always wanted a walker, so 
Well, I'm glad they came out with a new, a new one to have for the next movie. Uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And in the comments below, let us know what you think of this video. Let us know if we can do anything to improve. And let us know what you want us to build or review next, or what game you want us to try next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. May the bricks be with you. Bye.